Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is another questions and answer for Windows 7. A lot of people are asking questions. Uh, we're going to go through uh, several questions that come back regularly. Um, so once again, uh, one of the number one questions, a lot of people think Windows 7 is going to stop working suddenly next week. It's not. What end of support means is simply that you will have the last updates for security next week. So you're still going to be safe pretty much next week. It's not something that ends, you know, and it's over. It's just that gradually you will be uh, more and more at risk of getting viruses and malware if you use the internet. A lot of you have been saying, yeah, well, you know, it's easy to say that you're the number one security, but I have a hard time thinking that people need to um, you know, be secure. I need a better antivirus. Well, it doesn't work like that. That's a wrong way of thinking. And, um, you know, most people actually, because security, people think of security as something as it's so difficult to maintain, which is not. On a computer and on Windows 7, security is easy to maintain. Just make sure that everything updates and, uh, you know, go to the regular websites that you go to without, um, you know, going to um, uh, weird websites or, you know, look, downloading illegal stuff or, or looking at porn or whatever, you know, these are all the risks. When you actually just do, you know, the regular stuff, read your newspaper, email, a few websites of interest that you have, there isn't really a lot of security risks there. And that's the important thing about Windows uh, 7 end of support. If you continue using it, and you just do your daily tasks, um, you know, as long as you update the browser and update the, the, the whatever, you know, security you will have, um, you know, you, you'll be okay for a while and it's still going to work. What's going to happen? So a couple of you have been asking me, so what are the steps? What What's going to happen that eventually makes me want to move on, say that I keep Windows 7? Well, at first, not a lot is going to happen because at first, everything is still supported. That means your browser still updates. Um, you know, if you use Microsoft Security Essentials, you'll have to, uh, it's, it's going to stop updating. So you're going to have to actually uh, find another solution, you know, like a free antivirus or anything that would be uh, of interest uh, that could protect you uh, or a paid antivirus if that's what you want. But um, like I say, you know, you're the number one security uh, before anything else. The first thing that's going to happen is when really the uh, support for browsers will stop. That's the biggest thing and the biggest deal probably for a very simple reason is that when the, say you're using Google Chrome, when Google decides okay, we're ending support for Windows 7. That means you'll be stuck with a version of Google Chrome that's going to get older. When that happens, then you're going to start, things are going to start going fast. Uh, either you'll have to see if you can find another antivirus that might be uh, able to replace and, and um, a browser that, <laughs> I said antivirus, I think, another browser that will be able to replace and still be updated. So you might move to Firefox or you might move to, uh, you know, Opera or whatever uh, is, that still updates. Um, you can go around like this for a while. But, you know, when the software you use start to uh, have end of support also, that's where things are really going bad. And remember that when you'll be using an older browser, at some point, even some of the websites you go to are going to stop working because they won't support that older technology that the browser has. A lot of you have asking me, uh, all the games that I play, are they going to stop working? No, they're not. If you have games installed that do not require any special updates of any kind, that work fine, they're going to work fine. And they're going to continue working fine. And so that's not a problem. The other question I get from gamers is, yeah, but all the new titles that will come out in 2020, 2021, uh, will those have Windows 7? Well, chances are most of them will skip Windows 7 because most of them will not want to do a version that 
would work with Windows 7 when uh, everybody's on Windows 10, actually. Remember, there's still a lot of people on Windows 7. Um, if we look at numbers, roughly almost a third of uh, all people out there are on Windows 7. That's like roughly four or five hundred million people. So, you know, it's not going to end. Support's not going to end immediately, but there's more. There's like a billion on Windows 10. So, of course, um, software manufacturers will want to make the software for the most popular version of Windows. That's pretty much it. So, you know, all of that will slowly progress as time goes by. And, you know, we will probably have videos talking about some of the uh, moments in time that things happen, you know, when Google Chrome stops being supported on Windows 7, for example, stuff like that. So, you know, you will continue if you want using Windows 7, but as time progress more and more, especially if you use the web and, 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 and need, you know, up-to-date software for different things you do, well, that will dictate when you're really going to need to move on to something else. Um, somebody was, uh, uh, a couple of you have been asking, you know, why do they uh, end support for Windows 7 if, um, you know, they could have just let it go and, and keep updating. What happens is that, you know, they, if to have the Windows 7 updates, uh, well, they have to have a part of the team, a resource um, that they could be using for something else, including Windows 10, for that. And so, you know, at some point, they do... Uh, get to the mo moment where they're going to say, well, you know, okay, it's enough. Uh, we're moving on now. And uh, Windows 10, you know, a lot of people are asking the question, is Windows 10 as good? Is Windows 10 as fast? Um, I see a lot of people saying, well, you know, Windows 10 is bloated and computers so slow with it. It's not. I have old computers here that run Windows 10. They run as fast as they are running Windows 7. In some cases, even faster. Uh, don't uh, don't listen to everybody out there saying, well, you know, Windows 10 is so bloated that it, it's really slow on a five-year-old computer. It's actually not. It's not slower than Windows 7 is, actually. And, um, you know, the, that that's one thing you got to think about. What would you do? Will you move on or not? And uh, that's a possibility. Uh, some of you have been asking me about Linux distros for Windows replacing Windows 7 on an old computer. Um, you know, on an old computer, there are some Linux versions that actually will replace Windows 7 really well. Uh, Linux is easier to use than it was in the past. Yet, the biggest problem and the questions I get regularly is, well, I'll run the same software. Nope. Linux has nothing in software compared to Windows. Most of what you want to use does not have an equivalent in Linux. But, um, you know, that's the problem. And um, you'll have to, to see if you are fit to move on to Linux or not to do so. As for the rest, well, you know what? Um, if there's any other questions that you guys want me to answer, I'll, I'll of course, uh, maybe do another video. But we're near, you know, we're uh, less than a week from uh, Windows 7 being uh, end of support. So um, hope that uh, anybody out there finds a solution. And remember that uh, a lot of you have been mentioning, well, I use Windows 7 and I'll continue using it. I don't think it's such a security problem. Uh, even some, uh, you know, posting comments like, you know, well, you know, I disabled updates a long time ago on Windows 7 and it works fine. Uh, don't believe these things because you know what the majority of them never did that and if they did they probably have viruses and don't even know about it most of the time uh, updates are the number one most important thing to have in an operating system to keep safe then it's you uh, number two for security being careful what you do um, so you know not updating your operating system is a huge risk if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thanks for watching